I think we'll have to ask you to work with our team and try to come up with a sketch of the face you saw in the window, if you don't mind. Do you think you can do that? Yes, of course. I don't mind. I'm happy to assist. They seem familiar. Yes, evidence must be sketched of the face. Hey! Wait a minute. This is Natalie. Oh my. What's it doing at that house in the morning? Whoa. So many suspects. Hello, hello, hello. Assalamualaikum, guys. After that shocking evidence made me wonder if all of them were guilty, at least for something. <laughs> Who knows? Well, let's continue our investigation. Let's try burn. I don't remember a fire, no. I remember running into the living room and then being hit, seeing bright lights for a second, or what could have been a fire, but it also could have been because I was hit. The hospital said you had some minor first degree burns on your body, and your hair had been singed a little at the tips. You have no idea where that came from? No. Something must have generated a lot of heat in there. We found some wax, too, and remains of candles. Do you remember those? Uh, no. We've had power cuts in the area the last few days. Maybe your friend stocked up on candles and lit some. Could have been what you saw in the living room. Maybe, yeah. I think she's hiding something, right? Let's ask their blood test. What blood type are you? I don't know. I always forget. What are you? So, we asked the hospital for it, actually. Your type, AB negative. I am? Okay. So, what's interesting is when you were taken to the hospital, we noticed some dirt under your nails, and we scraped it and collected it. That dirt was actually part blood. Um, it had blood in it. So, we put that blood through a computer, and that told us what type of blood it was. It came back AB negative. That's what we got. Okay. We know you don't remember fighting anyone, but when we find blood under someone's nails, that typically means there was a fight and someone scratched someone. You definitely don't remember fighting anyone, right? No. I remember getting hit in the mouth or face, but nothing after that. I don't think I attacked the guy in the house. At least I don't remember fighting him up close. Maybe I scratched him a little when I ran by. We actually have spoken with that suspect. He's in custody in the county jail right now, and we've checked his blood, and it doesn't match. Your blood's actually a pretty rare type. You haven't been depressed lately? Have you ever wanted to hurt yourself, hurt someone else? I mean, really badly? Maybe you got into a fight with your parents or someone, or have you wanted to cut yourself? Maybe get really drunk? No, nothing like that. Okay. Did any of the kids have the same type of blood? AB negative? Actually, yeah. Alana had AB negative. So we have two people with this rare blood type. Can we run the test again and make sure it's right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. Alana, Hatcher, and probably Carlton are AB negative. Am I under arrest? Technically, no. Well, then you're not getting my blood. We could place you under arrest. Don't know where you were at the time of the murders. My alibi is the truth. I've been nothing but kind in answering your questions today. And we appreciate that. So why don't you ask me the type of blood I have? I'm under oath, aren't I? Technically, yes. Okay, no need to threaten and stab me. I'm sure you'd like that. My blood type is AB positive. Type AB positive? As in you're positive, it's type AB, or are you AB positive or AB negative? Which one is it? It's type AB positive. The first one. Full stop. Interesting. Hmm, many ABs. Let's try Dr. Strether. Look, honestly, I haven't been honest with you this whole time. I do remember being here in town before 15 years ago. My first festival of fire. It had a fun reputation back then. So you had fun? 
good, clean fun? Not exactly. Party wasn't happening enough for you? Lit, as they say? It wasn't that. It was my first festival of fire, so I needed to be inducted according to the people I was with. I think it was BS when I look back on it. I went to the festival, did some partying, and then went to an after party outside of town. Just went too far and didn't have a good night. That's all. Can we get some more details? Yeah, this definitely sounds like we'll need some more details. Okay. Next. When I came to town before, I came to try the same thing those kids did. Well, almost. It was a different ritual from the same set of things to try. It was supposed to have a different effect, but just as the same. You leave a personal item up on the hill, recite some words when the moon is right, set yourself up in the right formation with the right stuff, and it should work. Easy, in theory. The desired outcomes are different, but that's it. But it never did. That's mostly why people aren't into this stuff for a long time. It never works. It did seem to work 15 years ago. I remember you now. Yeah, that's right. That night, outside the house, you looked a little younger, a little less ragged. Went by Colby then. One of your... Colby phases. We interviewed you after, and inside the house was my niece. She died in the fire. I do remember you. You remember me? You standing there like a statue. No. Yes. There were a bunch of you. Blank. Expressionless faces. Sobering up and staring at the fire. Some people shouting at each other, others were like statues. Our conversation was likely one of the less memorable ones. Did you even try to save her? No. I mean, yes, okay, it's true. I was at the house that night, really. Things just got really, really out of control. We came back from town after the lightning thing. Some of the guys who I didn't know from out of town bought some stuff and we all joined in. They brought out some random stuff and set it in a circle on the floor. They said we were going to do the dog tooth ritual. This is going to be different, I thought, maybe even fun. They were reading the spell from a random scrap of paper and then changing stuff. I had no idea what they were saying or, or, or what they were doing. The next thing I know, I can't hear the room anymore. Things just get distorted more and more. The room looked different, like in slow motion like stretched out. You don't even know if the same people are there or not. I'm seeing weird stuff, faces, colors, sounds all mixed together. The next thing I know, I look up and people are passed out and the walls are on fire and people are screaming, get out, grabbing people and leaving. We tried to get everyone out, I swear. We just, we couldn't get her in time, we tried. Colton seems mad. So Colby was one of the survivors. Something like that's what I mean. I think I remember now. I was with my niece when she died. The more I talk to him, the sure I am. What? Yeah, when Jesse died, he was there. At the house. He was one of them. There were about 30 people in there. Everybody was on something. A weekend of long parties. Most of the survivors of the fire had the same story. Waking up and then burning things. Getting out as fast as they could. Now we're going to burns. Yeah, probably. Have you ever heard of the dog tooth ritual? I'm not familiar. I don't know every act from every tradition. With a name like that, I can imagine it being from the lower arcanas. Perhaps modern. Maybe even something off the books. Off the books? Unwritten. Passed along orally. The street people here sometimes come in and chat about various things they've heard. That's where I hear about most of them. Interesting. It caused a deadly fire years ago. Sorry to hear that. People shouldn't mess with things they don't understand. Do you think that happened a lot around here? Do you think that's what happened to those kids? It's possible. How possible? They were obviously into it. When they came by my store earlier, they were quite rude. They were rude to you? 
Please tell us more. They stole from me. You were robbed at your store by those guys? Really? Are you sure? I am quite certain I wouldn't forget something like that. Ruth was Rob. Let's dig more. Rob. So tell us more about what happened at your store with the robber. You know, the day started like any other. I did my various daily duties, some light dusting, and then manned the register. A lot of people come in? Yes. Well, that's subjective. Several. Well, when did Heather and her friends arrive? Mid-afternoon. All five? Yes. There were five. At first they were browsing, looking at my oddities and the special collections in the museum cabinet. And things were okay. I take it something bad happened. Yes, it, well, it turned quickly. They said the normal newer books didn't work. They wanted older things, rarer. Kept saying, I knew where I kept them. So insistent. I mean, I refused for a time. However... What? Thanks? Well, eventually, after endless back and forth, I caved. What did they want? What did you give them? Exactly what they wanted. My oldest book. A book on grand rock mythology. A book on dangling rock. That's one thing covered in it. What else is in it? It covers the greater area. Natural formations and other important connections to the earth. From long ago until my grandmother stopped updating it. There's been a lot of animosity surrounding dangling rock and the others here over the years. This tells some of the history between the tribes. Like Native Americans? No. Well... In part. This goes back before and after that time. It has original writings, history, divinations, uh, and musings from my whole family, generations upon generations. Where is it? Can we take a look? It's at my store. I can give you a copy. When I asked why they were interested, I thought they were only looking to get into the basics of spell casting from what we had been talking about. The older boy only replied, he was. And the book doesn't have that? No. It has the history of the area. But some important pieces of information, too. It, there are many natural resources and important minerals found in the area. Maybe they were just making sure everything they read beforehand was true. To confirm in the book. Interesting. Yes. Unfortunately, that tome really was of no real interest. The boy looked at it briefly and then laughed at me and threw it back on the shelf. It almost hit me. He was really after something else. His second request was far more specific. My original copy of the Book of Games. Book of Games? So you were borderline assaulted when you got the book thrown towards you and robbed. And you didn't think to call us. File a report. It's not my way. Besides, they only left with a single piece of paper. The one book was thrown my direction and the other left on the counter not too serious. How much priority would this Mickey Mouse shop have given that? We would have taken the details of the incident, gone and talked to the suspects when he could. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your honesty, but I didn't find it that serious. So they asked to see two books. A book on natural phenomena from the area and this game book. The Book of Games, yes. You said they left with a piece of paper. Yeah, what exactly did they take? An old document that was held in the book. Part of a diary. The diary of a man who lived several hundred years ago. What would they want with that? I don't know. Maybe he didn't know he was holding it when he stormed out. It just seemed like he just wanted to show me. And after you knew Alana was with them and that she lived right down the street from you, you didn't confront them later. Maybe go over and ask for your property back? Five people versus one. What could I have done? So you were just going to let it go and call it good? Not exactly. That document wouldn't be very useful to them. I knew I'd get it back eventually. How? I don't know. Just figured it would come back. I assume Ruth knows what was Greg missing. Greg wanted to go to that store that day. The witchcraft gothic one. I wasn't really into it. We went in and looked at a bunch of books on the racks, some of the jewelry and the little museum section. 
Honestly, we were looking for the stuff they had in the display, the old creepy things. And when we looked back, Greg was arguing with the store owner. She seemed really nice before that. Now they were yelling. Greg wanted some books she claimed not to have. Some family thing he really wanted to look at. Was the book called Grand Rock Mythology? I think so. She gave him a copy, but he wanted to see the real thing, I guess. She finally went to the back room and got it. He looked through and then asked for some other stuff. What sort of other stuff? A different book. It had a bunch of papers in it. He got angry. We weren't really sure why. He just kept demanding them. Eventually she brought something out and he looked at the book and then before we knew what was happening, he took a piece of paper and left for the door and told us to follow him. Stealing. What paper did he take? I don't know. He was just ranting about the store owner. She obviously bothered him because she wouldn't help him. Sounds like she helped him. Did it look old? Yes. So, something Ruth had, or created? Probably. And the book, what was it called? I don't remember. Do you remember what it looked like? Yeah, it had light blue on the cover and some ornate design. Why did your friend rob the store? From what you said, he seemed like a nice guy. Why not buy the thing? I don't know. I don't think it was for sale since it wasn't out. Your friend robs the store, right? And you didn't know anything about it, even when you left with him, right? Yeah, this is the first time I'm hearing that it was a robbery. By the time we walked to meet him at the front of the store, he was on the way out. He had some old piece of paper which I didn't notice at the time. Yeah, it's stealing. Okay. Ruth will be curious about why Greg steal the paper, right? Okay, that's it for today. Stay healthy always, guys. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. -bye.